Welcome to the magical caldera where love and unity is our superpowers. Hello everyone and um, I haven't been doing videos because last Tuesday which was my phone calendar I don't know hold on <sighs> 17th um last week on 17th last tuesday um i almost had a stroke you know up in the hospital um had chest pains had my arm go numb half my face go numb on the left side and i um, almost had a stroke and um, blood pressure just skyrocketed so um what seems to be causing all the problem is that well i should say problems because they're multiple they're not just one um is a large hernia that i have and i have had it since 2009 but um i just you know it wasn't it wasn't giving me a lot of problems now now it is it's giving me um bad problems bad back problems bad everything so um what happened was i decided in 2009 oh i'm gonna work out i'm gonna lose all my weight again and get rid of all this you know, baby weight that I put on. And really, I didn't gain a lot of weight from Brian. I gained all my weight from uh, Lillian, actually. Um, because um, I was so sick before I got pregnant with her. And I had pneumonia. And I was on so many uh, drugs and steroids to breathe and get better. That, um, you know, I, I gained a lot of weight with her. So, um, so, I decided to work out. And, you know, those gazelle things. The Tony Little gazelle thing. Okay, I bought one, like, I don't know, years before that. So anyway, I get on this thing and I was like, oh, I'm going to work out. I'm going to get out and get in shape. And when I did that, um, I ripped my abdominal wall wide open. And uh, I didn't realize what I had done at the time. I thought, oh, you know, I just worked out too hard and, you know, it hurts like hell. I did not know I had a hernia. Um, but it's progressively gotten worse and it's gotten to the point where, you know, I have to have surgery now, which is all fine and dandy, but... Um, you know, I ended up almost having a stroke because, um, it made my blood pressure skyrocket. And, um, how it's doing that is, is it's pulling on my stomach, the hernia is, because it's right below my stomach. And then there's a nerve that's going from, uh, my stomach to my heart. And it's pulling on that. And then it can cause all kinds of crazy problems and heart problems and, and just blood pressure problems and everything in the book, you know. Um, and you can look it up if you want to, it's, it's, um, you know, just look up, um, uh, hernia and high blood pressure and something, you'll find it. So it's called, a kind of nervous call, it's called a, I'm probably going to say this wrong. It's called a vagus. I think it's called vagus, not, because if you say, pronounce it the other word, it'll sound like vagus. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a vagus nerve. Anyway, the whole thing is if I do lay down and do my yoga, there's a certain yoga position that you can do when you have um, an umbilical cord, abdominal uh, hernia. Um, what you can do is you can, you can lay on the floor with your back, right? And, um, you, but you have, to, you have to have your legs straight up against a wall right when you're laying down and back up camera don't give me shit today and, and then you put like your uh you know pillows underneath your butt and what it does is gravity makes the hernia go back in your abdominal wall which um <clears throat> i started doing that and it did bring down my blood pressure and i am on medication for it now until um it gets back it gets uh cannot talk today they gave me oh my god i'm gonna get a cat scan today and you see this shit you see this bruise from hell look at that look at that and um i went over there to grady to get my cat scan done today and they gave me all i like like look 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 at this like a pitcher full of fucking lemonade to drink all right lemonade and um i didn't really ate or drink that much you know earlier but oh my god Probably had Nutri-Sweet in it. Probably going to kill me. Oh, my God. Tastes nasty. I knew it was Nutri-Sweet. I didn't want to drink it. Um, I drank that crap and um, peed 20 million times. Not joking. <laughs> peed so much. Then I took my cat scan, and then, um, you know, my, my children and and uh, Brianne's dad had, um, you know, some food waiting for me because I hadn't ate. But, um, yeah, so I almost had a stroke from this. So, if you have a hernia and it's a large one, you know, little ones you can fix with yoga. Um, but the bigger ones, uh, you, you, you can fix with yoga to a certain extent. 
you know, you can pull them in more and your muscles can support it more. But the thing is, you can't, I can't anyway, seem to get it to heal all the way. That's, that's, that's the problem I'm having. And it's causing problems on my heart and, and blood pressure. And, and, you know, I've never had blood pressure problems ever in my life. I've always had low blood pressure. I've never had, um, back up. My God, I don't even look good today, camera. Fuck off. Um, I, um, never had high blood pressure ever. It's always been low. Um, and um, never had any heart problems either because I've always taken care of my heart because I know it runs in both my family. So I've always, you know, taken fish oil and garlic pills, you know, for different reasons. And, um, well, number one, fish oil, I, you know, you can take for arthritis, really. And so I've always had to take it for years and years and years. So there should be nothing wrong with my heart going on. My heart should be dandy and super duper, you know. And um, when I ended up in the emergency room last Tuesday, totally freaked out, you know, crying and this and that, and um, <clears throat> I take in my herbs, you know, um, fish oil, and I took that, and uh, I breathed through it, that's what I did, because it made me wait forever, six fucking hours waiting for them to get their shit together in Grady, and hello, said Georgia, get, fix Grady, man, I know it's a state-run hospital, please fix it, hear me, congressman, senate, whoever in the capital of Atlanta, Fix Grady, please. Tyler Perry, if you're out there, please donate money to Grady. I'm not joking. I know you're a billionaire. I know you got the money. Donate some money to Grady, please. The emergency room's horrible. Um, half the hospital's horrible. Please get it fixed. Somebody out there, send money to the people for that hospital. I'm not joking. I, I'm dead serious about it. it it's terrible. Um, then, um, because you know, you know, that's that's part of um, oh, what is it called? Oh, yeah, that's, I think I think Grady's been a testing round forever for universal health care, and they do a shit job in like different parts, like in the clinic. And if you go over to um, like like um, the emergency room, it's shit, man, it's total shit. They had me waiting out in the emergency room in the waiting room, they sent me to lab, right? When I'm having a stroke, send me to fucking lab. Then sent me for urine, right? Still waiting out in the fucking emergency room, waiting room. I'm not joking about this. Terrible. So please, you know, government, U.S. government, send money to Grady Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia, and fix it. If that, you know, because I know that's uh, state run. So get it federally, from federal tax money down there, and quit wasting it on our fucking roads, putting bricks in the roads in the medians. Oh my God, we don't fucking need that. Really, we do not need bricks in our mediums, in the roads. Oh my God, they waste they waste so much money in Georgia. I'm not joking. Money that could go to um, something else. Seriously, they waste money. Oh my God, really bad. Oh, and if you're gonna fix the roadways, uh, fix that backup camera. Fix the, the, the sinkhole on a damn bridge on Georgia 400. Fix that, for God's sakes, for somebody falls in it. Um, sorry, that's true. But anyway, um, oh, yeah, Grady Hospital. Oh, yeah, so um, anyway, so I did lay down. I did do the yoga stana thing for um, the umbilical hernia. Um, you know, the one where you have to put your pillows on your butt and stick your legs up in the air against the wall and, um, I did do that last night, and it did lower my blood pressure, did make me feel better, so I've been laying on my back, so this hernia will not pull on the Pacific nerve, and cause me to feel chest pain, or my blood pressure to skyrocket, and all this crazy shit, because I cannot handle that, and I have kids to raise, I don't have time for this shit, and all this medicine, look how old this medicine makes me look, I mean, they have me on blood pressure medicine, and just look at my face, it makes me look so old, anyway, Whew, sorry, I'm bitching. It's, it's been a rough day. See, I haven't even ate my pop pop. My my Edie's. What is this? Edie mangoes. I don't like this one as much. I like the peach one. I like the, the peach ones. That taste pretty damn good. But this is an Edie's pop pop. Um, and that's what we call them. They're, it's really a popsicle, but um, it's all natural juice popsicle. But um, you know, my daughters when they were little, all they could say, <laughs> say when it came to popsicles, it was pop pop. So that's what we call them, pop pop. So, anyway, that's what's going to happen. Um, May 2nd, I have to go back to the surgeon to find out when they're going to do my surgery, which, considering how my blood pressure skyrocketed, they're probably going to send me to the heart doctor first before I have my surgery done. So, um, anyway, I just want to tell everybody what was going on. I, um, 
you know, I'm aggravated, and then I was freaked out because I thought I was going to have heart problems, and I, I, dude, I cannot have heart problems. I mean, I have weight to lose still, but I've lost a lot of weight, and I still need to lose weight, but, you know, considering how much weight I lost and, and everything like that, I shouldn't be having all these crazy, bizarre problems, you know, and my kids are freaked out, and Lily, God, poor Lily, she couldn't sleep. She, she's getting to be insomnia because she can't sleep because she's so worried about me, and, you know, Brianna's worried, and, you know, Lily just holds on to me for dear life in the hospital. I mean, you know, they're having a hard time. So, anyway, um, pray for us. Send us good vibes. Do whatever you do, and um, keep us in your thoughts and prayers. Um, my mom's about to freak out. I told my chiropractor what happened. He he was like, oh, my God, you know, and he's like, Karen, don't get stressed out. Don't let the kids stress you out. Don't let your boss stress you out. Stress, ah. I can't talk. Don't let Shabazz stress you out. For all of you who don't know, um, Brianna's dad, his name is Shabazz, and he's from Pakistan. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. But um, I did take my blood pressure medicine, and it makes me uh, sick as a dog. It makes me want to barf everywhere. So I switched it out to, um, to um, oh, yeah, to Hawthornberry. And hawthorn berry lowers your blood pressure naturally for all of those those people out there who don't know. Um, and uh, so part's working. We still have to get the top number. Well, I have to get the top number down a little bit. Um, it's 130 over 80 right now, which is a lot better than it was when I almost had a stroke. That was 157 over 100. And then, oh, that's Brianna in the background. And then before that, it was 160 over 100. So it's going down, thank God. Yahoo. This is Brianna. She needs a bath. Look how gross she looks. And you don't even know I know what she said to somebody today. Oh my God. I want to greet your time. Link her out. <laughs> go on, go use restroom. All right, everyone. Love y'all. I just want to tell you what was going on. Oh, Brianna, get off me. I love you too. Get off me. Get off me. Love you too. That's enough. Get off me. Get off me. <laughs> this is called a hippo kiss for all of you who don't know. This is Brianna. She's been doing this ever since she was a child. Ever since she was really little. She's always been a child, but ever since she was very little. Get your bunny ears off. She would, like, grab a hold of people's heads like this, right, when she was real little. And stop it. And she wouldn't let them go. <laughs> and she would just keep hugging them and hugging them. <laughs> oh, my God. So, anyway. All right. Well, I'll see everyone later. I love you all. And um, hopefully I'll can upload and edit Brianna's Lego videos hopefully soon. All right, love y'all. Bye. Watch them or I'll kill you. No, you won't. <laughs> you don't even know their addresses. How do you tell somebody you don't even know their addresses? <laughs> she'll throw Legos at you or something if you don't watch her videos. Oh, she says she'll throw Lego bombs at you if you don't watch her videos. Quit it. All right. Love y'all. Lessons to y'all. Bye.